Hey guys, Frank here, your Virtual General Aviation Aviator, and today I am in the de Havilland Beaver. Uh, I got the Clipper Aviation livery, and I am at Miniport. Now, the mission today is to fly to Goose, is it Goose Creek Bay, and I am simply just going to follow the river to Goose Creek Bay. I think the flight is about 53 nautical miles uh, back to Mini, Mini Pie, uh, which is an which is in Newfoundland, uh, Labrador, in the Canadian backcountry. Um, this airport was brought to my attention by uh, one of my subscribers, David, David A. And David actually um, placed some objects on to this airport so that... Um, so it, it has more interest, uh, interest like tomato, tomato, um, than some of the than it would have without the assets that David placed on it. Um, so I get to enjoy people out there in boats, and um, and there's a, um, I think there's someone in the back who's perpetually waving who I might be able to wave to once I get started. Anyway, let's stop procrastinating and let's get this flight on the way. Now, I made this flight before and I took a wrong turn, the river split, and I bear it to the left when I should have bear it to the right and wound up in Church Falls. Uh, but we know better now, so that shouldn't happen why is my prop my prop is not working uh, at least not from the from the alpha yoke huh so I guess I can control it with the mouse so let's um, not let that stop us. So let's open up our fuel valves and prime my engine. There's our primer there. One, two, three, four, five, and six and now let's pressurize our fuel lines with our wobbler so this is our wobbler here so let's and i got a little gauge here that should come up as i pressurize the line and you can see it moving now, I don't want to put too much pressure in the line. Otherwise, I may cause a fuel leak by overpressurizing the line. The seals may not hold. All right. So let's crack the throttle, mixture four. And master can come on. Beacon lights. Let's make sure our beacon is on. That way, if anybody's out there, they'll know that we're about to start. Let's turn our max on. All right. And let's clear our prop. Prop clear. And... Fuel boost, and let's try to start. I see if we can't get a good start the first time. All right. All right. We are good for go. Okay. 
so our anchor is deployed and not sure what the aircraft is doing so let's see if I can't figure that out yes yeah, so I think I have very little control let me unfeather the prop and get some wind over over my rudder and make sure that my um, let me release my brakes and make sure that my um, my rudders are down okay down I think that's down and now they're down yep okay so I got pretty good control now the winds were look like they were out of the north and let's see if we can't see the person waving out of our window well they're in that canoe way back there and that's kind of far off if you're interested in this scenery package then uh, then I include a link in the description below and you can uh, download it from David A's Google Drive okay so I want to go out here a little and Let's finish turning everything on. So let's go ahead and get our alternator on and our radios. Okay. Uh, let's make sure our transponder is on. And we're squawking VFR. Looks good. Okay. And we're going to turn back towards um, towards roughly zero four zero and take off. Okay. So I think we're good to go. So let's uh, let's raise these guys here, and Goose Bait Goose Creek. Here we come. And let's do an abort. All right, so we wasn't picking up speed. So perhaps I am, perhaps I need to, to raise these guys and rely on the rudder. All right, let's try it again. L speeds look like L speed look like it's coming up. Pump some flaps in. But 
I've had this problem before. Abort. And I'm not sure why my L speed is not is not coming alive. My anchor is not deployed. Okay. So let's go out here and fly back. Let's see. Just based on this wind sock out here. That's is that no, those are the flags, but the sock look like it's almost turning towards the building. Just notice I need to fuel up some. I don't have enough fuel to make the flight anyway. So let's get it this way. Or maybe it was the center tank that I was looking at. Let's add a little fuel to it. And I'm the only passenger today. So this should be enough fuel to get me where I want to go. All right. So I think now I've got enough room to turn and everything looks okay and let's Put this up. All right, and let's go full throttle. And air speed is just not doing anything. What could it be? What could I hit it to to Figure something. Let's try raising this guy. See if that helps. Um, okay, so my gear. Yeah, that fixed it. Air speed's alive. And I am airborne. All right. OK. 
Okay, so I should have. I know next time. So used to using the alpha yoke. All right. And let's turn on some cockpit light. That'll help you guys see stuff a little better, I think. Um, so that's with the lights on, off, on, and then on. I think that might help. Let's see if there's a button where I can turn them up a little bit. Uh, maybe there is, maybe there isn't. And look at my, look at me descending. Don't want to do that. So we'll do 2,500. Flaps up. The plan is to just follow the lake. at or about 2,500. Other than the takeoff snafu, the de Havilland the SMS, the Havilland Beaver, is really a joy to fly. I mean, I'm sitting here with my arms crossed. And she's, uh, she's well balanced. And for you guys who like that outside look, I know a lot of you guys like looking at the aircraft from the outside. So I will indulge you. And I uh, see I got a D tail number. I don't know what country is D. Is that Denmark? <laughs> That's the country that comes to mind. Okay, so I do want to try and get back down to 25. 
and yep this is the lake that I should be following I mean the river so as long as we keep that off to our off our left window all should be well So I am in miles per hour and um, 130 miles per hour on my L speed. That's one thing that De Havilland did do. Uh, they did they did use the empirical mileage system and they use miles per hours as opposed to knots. One thing I do like about X-Plane, or I don't know if it's X-Plane or some of the add-ons that I might have, but at least they get, at least they got the the conifer, the conifer and the decipher, um, the uh, at least they got the trees right. Uh, the softwoods up north and the hardwoods down south. Of course, some of these deciferous trees that I might be looking at may be um, hardwoods because I think cedar is a hardwood and it's a deciferous tree. I am again looking for that for that poor man's autopilot, which is the trim wheel. And I want to get it trimmed where I'm neither ascending or descending. Got a little mild turbulence. Not much, but some turbulence. The air is not as smooth as I hoped it would be. And so with the beaver, this big radio engine, and I call it the big radio engine because the engine literally is big uh, relative to some of the piston engines that, uh, that we find in like your Cessna 172 or your, <clears throat> or your low wing um, single or your low wing uh, piper. aircraft so relative to those aircraft this is a uh, big engine but as you can hear 
it does not string. It does not strain at all. It's not, it's, uh, the Beaver is not a fast aircraft at all, but it feels like, feels like it's got a lot of torque. So, you know, with the hum of this engine, feels like it's just barely being used, which is why it feels like, I guess that's one of the reasons why the beaver feels like it'll just fly forever. And when I mean forever, um, you can, if you take care of the engine, then, then you, it'll just keep going and going and going like the ever, the ever battery, let's see what, the ever, the evergreen bonnet, ah, I can't think of the name of the uh, bonnet that, that you see in those commercials that ever ready, <laughs> that's what I'm trying to think of, the ever ready bonnet. So, today is my granddaughter's birthday. And I do mean literally. She was born today. And I am going to see her in the morning. Um, she's about a two a three hour drive from me. And I will go and meet her for the first time. Happy birthday, Olivia. Now, I keep wanting to think that her birthday is on the 10th of the month, but it's on the 8th. My birthday was on the 10th day of a month. So I know that when I come to the fork in the river, I know that I want to bear to the left. I don't know how I manage to bear to the right in the other flight, and I should go back and watch it and try to ascertain what happened. I'm cruising at roughly a hundred and twenty seven hundred and twenty eight um just just topped out at a hundred and thirty. I believe when I'm straight and level, a hundred and thirty is what I can expect. All right, let's make sure our lights, landing lights are off, on, and 
I got to tell you guys, I started this flight um, a couple of times in the Thronda version. And I kept having problems. So, and I, and I was going to fly the Thronda version. But I wound up giving up and decided to just go with the SMS version. Which is all good. Um, the GPS and the Thronda version, even though I do have the 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 um, the GTN 750, it's not working anyway because I did a reinstall and for some reason my license is not being recognized so I need to figure out what's going on with that. So I'll tell you what I'm going to do. I am going to shut up and speed up the flight here. I'll sit here and fly it in real time but since the scenery that's rolling by is for the most part redundant or unremarkable um, then I'll uh, shut up and and I'll be back when we get closer to our destination but first I do want to I, I am approaching the split now I think maybe what happened I'm going to tell you what I think happened last time. I think the last time I was, the time that I wound up flying off to the right is I was flying to the right of the river, I believe. And, and, yeah, I think, you know, I think I flew over that lake and I would have had to look out this way to see the split. And I didn't see it. Now, like I said, I need to go back and check and, and to confirm that that's the story that I'm sticking to. But here is the split here. And I am bearing off to the, to the left. Like we got a break in the clouds. That's a good thing. Okay, so I will check in with you a little bit later in the flight. Um, the center is going to scroll by for you really quickly. Mic check.
you know, it just dawned on me that I'm not hearing, I'm not seeing any VU from the engine on the audio mixer. So, I guess you guys are not getting the engine sounds. I'm not sure why. I got desktop. I got output from the desktop now. So, yeah. So let me shut up again, guys. Sorry about not providing you with engine sounds.
So I've got a what looked like the runway in sight. Now I was able to zoom in and verify that it really is the runway of the airport. So we're not that far. And I did tune to the ATAS and I'm not getting any radios in the ATAS so I know the X-Plane ATAS is covered for this airport because I've heard ATAS at this airport before so I'm not sure why it's not tuning. I've got the radio on. Radio, radios are on. And I don't know. But we're going to land at the um, airport on the paved runway as opposed to on the water. So, Goose Bay Airport is our destination. Control Tower is 119.1. So, just for the sake of immersion, let's go ahead and put that in our box. And I could squawk what, 7600. Um, which says that my radios are out, um, but let's just carry on with what we got, and we will just fly straight in. Um, I can't get the winds. I guess I could pull up in the Adels online, like in like in um, um, AV, AV nav or, or I mean air nav or some website that I'm actually flying with um, custom weather and I believe the winds were zero three zero at um, five knots. No, no, three knots. I had a three knot wind, turbulent, slightly turbulent air, and and I think the winds were. I want to say. Uh, well, let's look. That's the easiest way to, to get it. Let's just look. Uh, and I got a one knot win. Oh, okay, let's see. Well, actually, yeah, let's just go win calm. I thought I had a win, but I maybe maybe it changed. I doubt that. <laughs> I don't think it has a tendency of changing on its own um, when it's not that damn. All right. So clumps, gas. Lights. Uh, 
on the carriage. Extra. And props. I could just make radio callouts like um, Goose Bay, Goose Bay Airport, Beaver is on straight in final, approximately six miles out inbound four stop Goose Bay. Um, now they got several ready. Runways that didn't tell them anything because what runway am I lining up for? Looks like this would be uh, runway, runway eight. Good speed traffic, Palada. Um, Beaver is is three miles to the east, uh, three miles to the west, inbound for runway eight, full stop, Goose Bay. You know, if I were to enter the pattern correctly. I might not have as much trouble making these radio calls because I make the same call over and over. All right, so let's do some flaps. here a little bit. And according to the pappies, Maybe a little bit low. I think I'm on a glide slope now. Bay traffic Beaver is on final runway eight four stop Goose Bay.
close enough now to cover the short final. I gotta remember this one is the um let's get the skewer down. This one is the the M field. So I need to do my round out on my flare a little bit higher than I'm used to. Out about here. Let her settle. Eyes to the end of the runway. Reading app is calling that butter. So let's take a look. Didn't feel like butter to me. But um, let's take a look. I guess this is close enough. down you know one thing that I have noticed is that when I stream uh, fly using my oculus headset which I rarely use is that it seems like I have more time to to make decisions um, when I'm flying with the, with the 17 inch monitor, it seems like things come at me a lot fast, a little bit. Well, I can't say a lot, but somewhat faster than they do when I'm flying using the, that Oculus 3D. Um, I did a good job managing my flaps and my speed on this flight. Uh, at least on this landing and what I've learned is that usually if I can nail my speeds I can have really good landings problem is a lot of times I by the time I get to my airport I get 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 their idols I get her down this idols <laughs> Get her down, Itis. OK. 
Okay. So when I added that final notch of flaps, I got a little float. But it was a soft landing because for the longest, I couldn't tell whether my wheel was rolling or not. I'll take it. All right, so let's let's park and shut down. All right, my my aircraft, my my airplane. Yeah, to the to the right. I gotta tell you guys, and if you've watched enough of my videos, you probably have heard me say this, but I cannot memorize my left and my right. I just can't do it. Um, try as though I might the first time I think about it I have to work it out you know this is the hand I write with this is my right <laughs> and some people can just memorize it right right I mean they just know it all right where are we going all right we got um, let's just go straight ahead this this guy here looks good but we need to stop and clean up so flaps up and I thought there was a button where I could flip this back to the to the other side all right um, landing lights can come off beacon light stays on uh, center tank on that gas and transponder can go to ground or uh, just on. I use it, try to use FLTT, which is which is uh, flaps, lights, trim, and transponder. So when I fly my Pilatus, I try to re I do try to remember half the time I forget. But for my cleanup, I try to use FLTTC um, so I can remember to pull that condition level down. float just a little bit all right and we'll stop here and pull on our brakes turn off our our well, let's try and find engine first. Feather the prop. And beacon can come off. And let's see. Yeah, we're good.
and mats can come off. I have one to leave those on. All right. And okay, guys, I hope you guys enjoyed the flight. Um, it may have been a quiet and kind of, uh, I don't feel like it was an animated flight, but I think I enjoyed it just the same. Um, some flights are just to take for relaxing after the after after a long hard day which is what today has been for me so it was it was really a relaxing flight thanks guys for watching and until next time